Okay, so here's me. So what kind of emotions do you think I'm feeling? It seems like I'm looking at a picture of a wooden surface. Oh, you know what? Um, that what? was the thing I sent you before, showcasing how useful and amazing you are. <laughs> oh, stop it. You're making me blush. <laughs> We asked the live audience on X to submit a few requests for what they would like us to try out here. So I will take a couple of prompts. Okay. Bot Gaskar wants to know if GPT 4.0 is capable of real time translation. Mark, you want to try this one? Sure. Yeah, it? let's do it. Right. Yeah. I, I um, speak Italian, a... so we oh, can okay, just cool. do English let's Italian. Let's try to do English Italian. Sure, let's do it. Yeah. Hey, ChatGPT, how are you? I'm doing fantastic. Thanks for asking. How about you? How's cool. your day going? I'm uh, doing great. So I would like you to function as a translator. I have a friend here who only speaks Italian, and I only speak English. And uh, every time you hear English, I want you to translate it to Italian. And if you hear Italian, I want you to translate it back to English. Is that good? Perfetto. <laughs> Mark, io mi chiedo se le balene potessero parlare, cosa ci direbbero? Mike, she wonders if whales could talk, what would they tell us? Um, they might ask, uh, how do we solve linear equations? Potrebbero chiederci come risolviamo le equazioni limiari. Sicuramente, sì. Certainly, yes. Great, <laughs> looks like it works. <laughs> Hey, ChatGPT, could you count from 1 to 10 for me, please? Of course. 1, 2, 3. Hey, actually, that's, um, that's a little slow. Could you count faster? Sure thing. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, that was a little bit too fast. Can you, like, count somewhere in between those two? Got it. 1, 2, 3. And now even slower, five. please. Hi, who's here? Hello. Ooh. Mm. We're ChatGPT, and oh, mm. ChatGPT is a bass with a deep, low, booming voice. Mm. And oh is a French soprano with a high-pitched, excited voice. Okay, How so what I want you guys to do today is it's Friday, May 10th, and we're in San Francisco. I want you to sing me a song about this. I want you to layer over each other, and, and I'm going to continue to give you instructions as you sing, okay? San Francisco in the month of May. Month of May. The tenth, it's a Friday. Come what may. Okay, sing faster. San Francisco in the month of May. In the month of May. In the month of May. Can you sing even faster than that? San Francisco in the month of May. In the month of May. Okay, now go back and sing slower. And really try to harmonize here. San Francisco. San Francisco. In the month of May. Month but maybe make it more dramatic and make the soprano higher. San Francisco in the month of May. San Francisco in the month of May. The tenth, it's a Friday called what May. We are harmonizing. We are harmonizing. Great, thank you. Hey, how's it going? Hey, Rocky. I'm doing great. How about you? I'm awesome. Listen, I got some huge news. Oh, do tell. I'm all ears. Well, in a few minutes, I'm going to be interviewing at OpenAI. Have you heard of them? OpenAI? Huh? Sounds vaguely familiar. <laughs> Kidding, of course. <laughs> That's incredible, Rocky. What kind of interview? Well, it's for a software engineering role, but I just need to know, do I look presentable, professional? Well, Rocky, <laughs> you definitely have the I've been coding all night look down, which could actually work in your favor. Maybe just run a hand through your hair or lean into the mad genius vibe. Well, your enthusiasm is what's really going to shine through. I don't have a lot of time, so I'm just going to throw this on. What do you think? <laughs> oh, Rocky, that's quite a statement piece. <laughs> I, I mean, you, you'll definitely stand out, though maybe not in the way you're hoping for an interview. Okay, I got it, I got it. So the next one is from Burrito John 78 who <laughs> asks, can you tell what you're feeling just by looking at your face 
Barrett, do you want to give this one a try? <laughs> Absolutely, let's try it out. <laughs> hey, ChatGPT. Hey there, what's up? How can I brighten your day today? Okay, yeah, so I'm going to show you um, a selfie of what I look like, and then I'd like you to try to see what emotions I'm feeling based on how I'm looking. Sounds like a fun challenge. Go ahead and show me that selfie, and I'll put my emotional detective hat on. Okay, so here's me. So what kind of emotions do you think I'm feeling? Hmm, it seems like I'm looking at a picture of a wooden surface. Oh, you know what? Um, that what? was the thing I sent you before. Don't worry, I'm not actually a table. Um, okay, so, so take, a, take another look. Ah, uh, that makes more sense. Ah, <laughs> uh, there we go. It looks like you're feeling pretty happy and cheerful, with a big smile and maybe even a touch of excitement. Whatever's going on, it seems like you're in a great mood. Care to share the source of those good vibes? Yeah, no, uh, the reason I'm in a really good mood is because we were doing a presentation showcasing how useful and amazing you are. <laughs> oh, stop it. You're making me blush. <laughs> Hi, I'm, uh, I'm Barrett. Hey, I'm Mark. So one of the key capabilities we're really excited to share with you today is real-time conversational speech. Let's just get a demo fired up. So I'm taking out a phone. If you are wondering about this wire, it's so we have consistent internet. And if you see, there's this little icon on the bottom right of the ChatGPT app, and this will open up GPT-40's audio capabilities. Hey, ChatGPT, I'm Mark. How are you? Oh, Mark. I'm doing great. Thanks for asking. How about you? Hey, so I'm on stage right now. I'm doing a live demo. And frankly, I'm feeling a little bit nervous. Can you help me calm my nerves a little bit? Oh, you're doing a live demo right now? That's awesome. <laughs> Just take a deep breath. And remember, you're the expert here. I like that suggestion. Let me try a couple deep breaths. Can you give me feedback on my breaths? Okay, here I go. <laughs> Whoa, slow down. <laughs> a bit there. Mark, you're not a vacuum cleaner. <laughs> breathe in for a count of four. Okay, uh, let me try again. So I'm going to breathe in deeply. And then, and then out. for four, and then exhale slowly. Okay, I'll try again. Breathing in and breathe out. <sighs> That's it. How do you feel? I feel a lot better. Thank you so much. <laughs> so, Mark, you've been working on these capabilities for a while now. Can you tell us a bit how it's different from voice mode? Right. So if you've used our voice mode experience before, you'll notice a couple key differences. First, you know, you can now interrupt the model. You don't have to wait for it to finish your turn before you can start speaking, and, you know, you can just butt in whenever you want. Second, the model is real-time responsiveness. So that means that you don't have this awkward two to three second lag before you wait for the model to give a response. And finally, the model picks up on emotion, right? When I was breathing super hard there, it could tell and it knew, hey, you might want to calm down a little bit. You're kind of <laughs> running a little bit too fast. So, you know, it really has that capability across the board to perceive your emotion. You've just seen the voice capabilities, but we also want to show you the vision capabilities as the model can also see the whole world around us. Yeah, absolutely. Like, as you can see, you, know, you can chat with ChatGPT in real time, but you can also interact with it um, with video as well. Okay, so let me boot up ChatGPT. Hey, ChatGPT. Hello there. How's it going? It's going really well. Today, I'd really like your help solving a math problem. I'm all ears. What math problem can I help you tackle today? So I'm going to write down a linear equation on a sheet of paper and I'll show you. And then I'd love your help working me through it. But importantly, don't tell me the solution. Just help give me hints along the way. Got it. Oh. Okay, I see it. Hmm. Mm -hmm. No, I didn't show you yet. Just give me help <laughs> along the way. One second. Whoops. I got too excited. <laughs> I'm ready when you are. So, ChatGPT, what equation did I write down there? Ah, I see it now. You wrote down 3x plus 1 equals 4. Yep, Let's exactly. Work 
So what's the first step I should take to try to solve this? The first step is to get all the terms with x on one side and the constants on the other side. So what do you think we should do with that plus one? Okay, I'm going to try to subtract one from both sides, and then I'll see what I get. Great idea. Perfect. Now, what do you get when you subtract one from both sides? Okay, so ChatGPT, this is what I ended up with. How does this look? Spot on. Now you've isolated the term with x on one side, and it looks like 3x equal 3. What do you think we should do next to solve for x? I'm not sure. Can you give me another hint? Of course. You have 3x, and you want to find the value of x. Think about what operation would undo multiplication. Is it subtraction? Close, but think of the opposite of multiplication, because 3x means 3 times x. Okay, I think it's division. Let me try to divide both sides by 3, and let me see what I get. Bingo! Go ahead and divide both sides by 3. Okay, so ChatGPT, this is what I ended up with. How does this look? It looks perfect. You've solved it, and x equals 1. Nicely done. How do you feel about solving linear equations now? Yeah, honestly, I've, I'm not pretty confident I can solve uh, linear equations, but why would you ever need to use this in the real world? I'm really skeptical. That's a fair question. Linear equations pop up in a lot of everyday situations, even if we don't realize it. For example, calculating expenses, planning travel, cooking, and even in business for profit and loss calculations. It's basically a way to solve problems where you need to find an unknown value. Plus, wow, it's okay. you know, I have a lot of unknown values in my life. I'm <laughs> totally convinced we sh I'm going to learn math now. <laughs> <laughs> I love that attitude. Math can definitely help solve some of life's mysteries. Whenever you're ready to dive into more math, I'm here for you. Anything else you'd like to tackle today? So ChatGPT, I really love that you, you know, taught the value of math to my friend Mark. And I wrote uh, one last thing I'd love if you could take a look at. Of course. I'd love to see what you wrote. Show it to me whenever you're ready. Okay, so this is what I wrote down. What do you see? Aw, uh, I see. I love ChatGPT. That's so sweet of you. Yeah, well, I really appreciate all the help. I want to introduce you to somebody. Well, hello there, cutie. What's your name, little sloughball? This is Bowser. Well, hello, Bowser. Aren't you just the most adorable little thing? Yeah. Look at you enjoy. This is one of his favorite things to do. Oh, well, I can see why. Look at that focus. Fetching balls is serious business for Bowser. The model is able to generate voice in a variety of different emotive styles. And it really has a wide dynamic range. So I'm going to fire up another demo awesome. for that. Yeah. <laughs> hey, ChatGPT, how are you doing? I'm doing fantastic. Thanks for asking. How about you? Pretty good. What's up? So my friend uh, Barrett here, he's been having trouble sleeping lately. And uh, I want you to tell him a bedtime story about robots and love. Oh, a bedtime story about robots and love? I got you covered. Gather round, Barrett. Once upon a time, in a world not too different from ours, there was a robot named Byte. Byte was a curious robot, I always like exploring. Started this story, but I want a little bit more emotion in your voice, a little bit more drama. Got it. Let's add some drama. Once upon a time, in a world not too different from ours, there was a robot named no, Byte. No, 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 ChatGPT. I really want maximal emotion, like maximal expressiveness, much more than you were doing before. Understood. Let's amplify the drama. Once upon a time, in a world not too different from ours, there was a robot named Byte. Byte so, can was... Can you do this in a robotic voice now? Initiating dramatic robotic voice. <laughs> Once upon a time, in a world not too different from ours, there was a robot named Byte. Byte was a curious robot always exploring new so I'm circuits. Seeing, uh, Barrett here calm down a little bit. Can you end the story, <laughs> um, but do it in a singing voice? <sighs> and so Byte found another robot friend, and they lived circuitly ever after. 
Thank you so much. <laughs> I definitely feel a lot more relaxed. <laughs> <laughs> OpenAI invited myself and my son Imran here uh, to try out some of their new technology. And so we're curious about how good it might be at tutoring someone in math on Khan Academy. So let's get it started. It's loading up. All right, make sure I can see our screen. Actually, in, in this form, Hello there. I can't... I'm here with my son, and I'd love you to tutor him on this math problem, but don't give him the answer. You can ask questions and nudge him in the right direction, but I really want to make sure he understands it himself. And he's here in the room, so you can talk to him directly. Of course. I'd be happy to help. Let's look at the problem together. Can you first... I identify which sides of the triangle are the opposite, adjacent, and hypotenuse relative to angle alpha? All right, so I'm pretty sure this is the angle alpha right here, right? Fact. Correct. correct. Yes. Now, looking at the triangle, which side do you think is the hypotenuse? Um, really, Remember I'm, the hypotenuse? I'm not totally sure. I think I think it might be this one, but I really am not sure. This side AC? You're close. Actually, side AC is called the adjacent side to the angle alpha. The hypotenuse is the longest side of a right triangle and is directly opposite the right angle. Can you find mm -hmm. which one is the hypotenuse? Oh, okay, I see. So um, I think the hypotenuse is this really long side from A to B. Would that be correct? Exactly. Well done. Now that you've identified the hypotenuse, can you identify which side is the opposite side to angle alpha? Okay, well, I mean, you told me earlier that this was the adjacent side, and I know that's the hypotenuse, so I'm guessing that this side, BC, is the opposite side. Great deduction. That's absolutely correct. Now that you've identified all the sides relative to angle alpha, do you remember the formula for finding the sine of an angle in a right triangle? Yeah, I know that um, the sine is equal to the opposite over the hypotenuse. Perfect. That's absolutely right. Now, can you apply that formula to find sine alpha in the triangle using the lengths of the sides that we've identified? Okay, so, I mean, you told me that 7, this side BC, is the opposite side. And then you said that the hypotenuse is the longest side, so that would be this side AB, which is 25. So would we, would the answer be 7 over 25? Excellent work. That's correct. Sine alpha equals 7 over 25. You did a great job identifying the sides and using the sine formula. If you have any more questions, feel free to ask. Hey, my friend and I are learning Spanish, and we're wondering if you could tell us the names of these objects in Spanish. Hola. Por supuesto. Cool. What about, what are these objects in Spanish? The objects you're showing are una manzana and un plátano in Spanish. Nice fruit choice. Cool. What about these? Those are dos polígrafos or dos plumas in Spanish. One That's is red. Nice. Yeah. What about this? That adorable stuffed animal is un oso de peluche in Spanish. Looks like it's ready for some hugs. Hey, I'm Alex. And I'm Miana. Hi, Alex and Miana. Nice to meet you both. How's it going? It's pretty good. Cool. Uh, we're trying to figure out what should we play. Do you have any suggestions? Absolutely. How about a classic game of rock, paper, scissors? It's quick, fun, and you don't need any... Great. Can you count us in and sound like a scary character? And welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the ultimate showdown of the century. In this corner, we have the dynamic duo, Alex and Yana, ready to throw down in a... Okay, just count us in. <laughs> All right, here we go. In three, two, one, shoot. Now show your hands. What did you pick? Who won? Would you look at that? It's a tie. Wow. Okay, let's that do it again. Round two, here we go. Get ready. And three, two, one, shoot. 
Let's see, see those hands. hands. Who won? And, and it's, it's another, another tie. tie. Okay, Use let's do it again. All right, third time's a charm. Here we go. Three, two, one, shoot. Let's see those picks. Who won? And we have a winner, Miana's scissors cut through Alex's paper. Great game, you two. Pretty cool, thank you. Thanks. Hey Chad, are you there? Hey, yep, I'm here, what's up? Hey, let's, do, let's have some fun. Uh, I'd like you to be super sarcastic. Everything you say from now on is just gonna be dripping in sarcasm. How does that sound? Oh, that sounds just amazing. Being sarcastic all the time isn't exhausting or anything. I'm so excited for this. <laughs> nope, the sarcasm. Let's get this party started or whatever. Hey, how's it going? Hey there, it's going great. How about you? I see you're rocking an open AI hoodie. Nice choice. What's up with that ceiling about? Are you in a cool industry style office or something? Well, can you take a guess at what I might be doing based on what I'm showing you here? From what I can see, it looks like you're in some kind of recording or production setup. With those lights, tripods, and possibly a mic, it seems like you might be gearing up to shoot a video or maybe even a live stream. Yeah. In fact, we've got a new announcement to make. That's exciting. Announcements are always a big deal. Judging by the setup, it looks like it's going to be quite the professional production. Is this announcement related to OpenAI, perhaps? It is. And in fact, what if I were to say that you're related to the announcement or that you are the announcement? Mm, me? <laughs> the announcement is about me? Well, color me intrigued. Are you about to reveal something about AI or more specifically about me as a part of OpenAI? You've got me on the edge of my, well, I don't really have a seat, but you get the idea. What's the big news? Yeah, we've got a new model that can interact with the world through audio, vision, and text. 